Um, when I attended the madrasas in the late 80s, and like rural kind of austere madrasas, they, they were brutal and they were totalitarian, but they weren't ideological. You know, they were actually completely devoid of politics. Um, when I went back in 99, and this is in the book, and I encountered people from madrasas, and one of the things that didn't make it into the book actually was another um, kind of a conversation and encounter and argument that I had with madrasas outside of Lahore. And, you know, by then it was, the madrasa was entirely polemic and entirely ideological. It had become a, um, a weapon, if you will, a rhetorical weapon at least. And, and that change, you know, there were geopolitical reasons that that change took place over the 90s, um, you know, whether it was from Pakistani support for the Taliban or the after effect of the, the jihad in uh, Afghanistan coming to an end uh, after the Soviets left. But in the 80s, you know, that, that militant ideology wasn't there in the madrasas. Correct. You they weren't pleasant places to be, but it wasn't true, there. True.